Welcome back, guys. Um, so in this episode, we will talk about the brands because brands are manufacturers, because each of the products must belong to a brand. So um, I've done a simple implementation of this and uh, you will see that uh, I only use two fields, uh, which it's called the brand name and the brand logo, if uh, is there any. But also you can expand this to add the brand's uh, margin, uh, if you will, or you can add the brand website or whatever, descriptions and so on. Also, you may make uh, on the front page or some brand dedicated page, you may make a brand carousel where all the brands show up dynamically or randomly and um, you, you may do a show off of your brands. Okay, so let's get started and uh, see uh, my own implementation on this. Let me just uh, show the page, uh, show the show my desktop. Sorry. Okay, so here's the desktop. And um, firstly, let's open the page and see what we have done here. So we have the uh, admin dashboard, and I've made a new um, drop down which it's called products and attributes and brands. So in the last episode, we've talked about the brands, uh, of, of, uh, about the attributes, sorry. And now we are talking about the, um, the um, brands. Okay, let's go to the brand section. So here are all the brands. And of course, um, we maintain the same design as on the, on the attributes, on the brands. On the users, we use the same interface to be more um, to be coherent. Coherent, okay. Okay, so we we have the basic uh, functionality, and let's um, just check a new brand, Adidas logo, and let's save one of their images. Okay, let me just open. Let me just open it. Okay, edit this originals, save the image, save it. It's an SVG. Let's try something that's not SVG because I made the, uh, this is JPEG. Okay, because I made some uh, validations. Good, let's add a new attribute called Adidas and select the brand logo and create a new brand. And as you see, the new brand has been created also with the logo and we may open it and also we have the same uh, administration layout for the brand i may change the uh, originals originals and the name will be changed okay and if you go back you will see that we have the editors originals okay and also the uh, image okay and also we may remove the we may remove the logo and the logo has disappeared and uh, if we go back you will see that the logo is missing here because we don't have any now let's add back the logo and everything will be as it was before okay so this is the basic functionality of the brands and as i've said before you may add uh, a margin percentage or or uh, a website or description you may extend it however you would like okay let's go uh, let's go to see how the code was written and also what um, enhancements can be done for this okay so we here we have the first of all let's create uh, let's see the migration create um, brands migration so we have the name the slug oh sorry i forgot the, about the slug and we have the logo which is nullable for a purpose and uh, also the slug should be nullable but uh yes nullable because we won't complete any slugs but uh, you will see that on the creation of the brand model we will populate the slug okay so it's it's a simple migration I used a new a new type of uh, migration for Laravel 9. Uh, okay, so we create the brands. Now we created a new brand repository, brand repo. 
Okay. So here we have a few um, methods. We have these methods. Construct the filter for which is uh, responsible for this filtering. Adidas. Okay. It's uh, for this filtering. Then we have the list brands, which shows all the brands. Create brand, update, delete, and delete the logo. Okay, and also we have the uh, brand contract, which is the interface for this uh, repository. And we have the brand controller, which implements this, uh, which injects this repository. And uh, we also have the web admin the routes we have a resource controller for the brands let me just show that to you um oh, let's enter here php artisan route list name equal equals uh brands and we all we have the resource controller but also we have the additional uh the logo uh, route which i've defined here um okay it also can be defined in the resource controller but for me it's more elegant to do it like this good uh also you may do something like this only and uh, enumerate the methods uh, store update destroy and also the delete logo and the, this will work fine but i prefer to use it like this way because this is how i'm used how i got used to it okay so we have this and now we have the implementation and also in the repository service provider repository service provider i've made the new uh injection for the brand contract to the brand repository and i bind the interface to the implementation okay so we have the index and we get all the uh, brands i forgot here the trashed because brand.php i'm not using the deleted that so uh it won't be trashed okay we get the name slug id and the logo okay Good. So we create, uh, we, we have the index, which shows us this a list of brands. And after that, we have the create, which is a simple uh, plug uh, component. And then we have the store. For the store, we have the name, which is required. And also we have the logo with the MIMES JPEG and JPG, PNG, and the maximum 1,000 uh, kilobytes or 1 megabytes. Okay. let's 1 mb 1 m megabyte and we get everything except the token and the, we create the brand so to create the brand it's in the brand the uh, uh, brand repository brand repository and we have the create method now we have the collection and we see if we have a logo and also we have yeah, the logo it's an instance of the uploaded file okay if it's an instance of the uploaded file, we will upload one image. We make a UID, a unique identifier. We gave a file name if we want to, but in our case, we didn't give any name. So the name is null. Okay. We, we have the public disk, which I've defined. We have the disk and the file name. Okay. Also, we may upload many images at once if we would like so then if we got the logo and it's not null we merge it we compact it and we uh, create a new brand with the new uh, attributes with the new values so let me just show this to you let's for example say nike and uh, let's uh, download the nike logo okay so i will use the the orange one save the image okay and let's upload it nike symbol create a new brand now everything if we merge you will see that in the merge we have a collection with items we have the name and the new path from the uploaded image 
So with these two, um, with these two data values, we create a new brand. Okay, and the script ran, and we have the new Nike brand created. Okay, and save the brand and return it as a new brand. Okay, also on the brand uh, the view side, for the new brand, I've made something. I've used iner Inertia.js and also to be able to send files um, based on the documentation from uh, Inertia.js, we have to use an option which is called force form data and set it to true. Otherwise, it won't know that it's a file and on your brand repository, you won't get this instance of uploaded file. So that helps us to identify um, that the, the uploaded file that uh, is indeed a file. It's not a string. Okay, good. Now we get this out of the way and um, we have the store method. And when we open the new brand, we created brand, we have the edit and the update. Okay, also we have the delete method for the logo. And if the deletion has been successful, then we show a notification. Okay. And also for the submit, if we want to update a brand, I've made it in the Axios way because it's uh, more cl clearer for me. I didn't uh, do it with uh, Inertia.js. So we make a new form data and um, we open the method. This is the method spoofing and we make a new post request uh, instead of put. And uh, this way Laravel knows to transform this into the put uh, request, uh, Axios knows with Laravel. And then we have the name. And also if the type of the form logo is an object and it's not null, we append the new logo. It, seem, it uh, means that we have a new uploaded file in this um, um in this um file input okay let me see what error do we have here 422 but why network so i had a problem with the uh, validation I will check this in the future. Okay, and upload it, and we have the brand logo uploaded again. Good. So this is the validation which I've have had to put here. And let's also add this uh, add and it here. And then we have the logo that stores it and replaces it if needed to. And um, now we can go to the edit which we've done before and we have the delete logo or the delete brand so we may delete the brand of course let's edit again nike and the other brand generate a new brand so this was the um brands uh, episode hope you liked it and uh, see in the next one which will be product related so Cheers and have a good uh, day or night.